Hey what's up guys Newbizo here and welcome back to another episode of Newbizo where today I'll be showing you guys how you can boost your video interactiveness by just using annotations and so without any further ado let's get started. Hope we get 50 likes for this episode. Take an example of a video that I just posted a few days ago and uh, so don't forget to check it out because it's quite informative. Well let's get back to topic. The first type of annotation that I'll be discussing with you guys is subscribe annotation. And I know that we have seen this in many of the videos but I do find that people still do not know how to use it and where to use it. Well, so today I'll be teaching you that because that's important. Using annotation at effective places is important to get maximum amounts of views. So, uh, let's make the annotation first. Now, let's take a speech bubble and we are going to type in subscribe and exclamation mark plus uh, like. There we go. Exclamation mark. And of course, you can add share. There we go. And let's edit it like have it 28. We're gonna have color white. And after that, let's give it a dark color like red. And have it more bigger. There we go. Once time for setting the start and the end time of annotation, I recommend having 30 seconds or less than 30 seconds. Because, in my opinion, annotations are just uh, small flashes and notes, call outs, and that should not be too longer. Well, anyways, uh, as a subscribe annotation, we have to link it to the subscri uh, subs Boom. subscription page. And to do that, just click on the link checkbox. After that, just click on subscribe and now enter YouTube username. So don't end up adding your channel username here until and unless you get your custom URL. Your channel, your username, your YouTube username is this unique keyword. So just copy it and paste it. And after that, to test that it is correctly to your channel, just click on the preview link. And as you can see, it is directed to my channel. So after that, just click on apply changes. Well, now we have made the annotation and also linked it to subscription page as it is subscribe annotation. So now it's time for setting this to its effective place. Now, the effect there are two effective places. The first is after you give a short intro, that is... Hey what's up guys Nibizo here and welcome back to another episode of Nibizo where today I'll be showing you uh, so and blah 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 and after that you can place your annotation and the next uh, uh, recommended place is to have your annotation after you complete one fourth of your video so that people get a gist of what information you're sharing and they may find it worth and they can just cl uh, click on the annotation and may subscribe to your channel but right now place the annotation at the appropriate position that is after 2 minutes because after that just give a gist to what I am going to show in the episode. Well let's move on to the second type of annotation that is a contact annotation. Now what I mean by contact annotation is that this annotation is going to link to a place or a social media profile uh, where people can ask you questions or people can have a direct contact with you. Uh, so in this way uh, there is a link between you and your viewers and this may boost the interactiveness. So to get started with it, just go on to add annotation and let's select the note now and after that just type in note. Let's add contact us or you can ask questions, there we go. Now it's up to you to show the creativity in making your uh, own annotation. Okay so there we go, the contact us annotation is ready. I just give it an embed effect by just clicking on the impact option and now it's time for linking it. So I want my people to contact me by my Google Plus profile. So just click on the link and select the drop down menu and after that select the Google Plus profile slash page. It automatically gets connected and now it's time for setting sensation to a effective place. Now in my recommendation, um, you have to set this annotation to the end of your video, not the very end, just before your outro that you know, like a 15 seconds before your outro. So that after watching all your content, if people still have any doubt, they can contact you in a jiffy. So now it's time for moving on to the next type of annotation. Well, the last and the final type of annotation is a video annotation. And video annotation is pretty well useful because it provides an access to your viewers to your previous videos. And so to add a video annotation, just click on the add annotation. Click on the spotlight and after that just drag it to your previous video template. Now it's up to you if you want to add your message right over here or not. So right now I'm not adding it any. If you want to add, uh, let's add here. Click to view. And there we go. And set the size to 28. 
it's up to you to customize it have a bright color for highlighting as you can see it's highlight more brightly and after that just click on link because linking is important otherwise the annotation won't work so just paste the link and that's up to you to make the video open in new window or not well um, the video annotation may help you to stabilize your views and views in each and every video and make your users active on your channel page well that's for it guys hopefully you enjoyed this episode and if this episode has helped you anyway please be sure to hit the like button below and also don't forget to subscribe to new and of course guys thanks for watching and happy farewell until we meet again